WSBW High School Playbook Blitz. And it's week 12 high school playbook blitz opening night for the Central Coast section playoffs. Let's get right to it. We begin with the open division, generally considered to be the best of the best. Palma home tonight at Rabble Bank Stadium in Salinas, taking on Valley Christian from San Jose. And the visitors from San Jose enjoyed the Palma cheerleaders, but they also enjoyed this. They strike for the big play early. How about an 80 yard touchdown bomb right here? Michael Machado to Colin Johnson from Valley Christian. 80 on the touch. Palma, victim of the big play early on right here. Visitors. Later, short touchdown run. After this play for Palma, they connect. Palma comes back after the half. Jack Richardson gets it going. Connecting right here with Adrian Valdez. Palma touchdown. That made it 14-7. But that was it for Palma tonight. And they come out on the short end of this scoring contest. And they lose 14-7. Palma season not over there. They're still alive in the consolation bracket in the open division. Now let's check out Division I battle at the place they call the pit. In D1, Salinas High Cowboys home against Menlo Avenue in a school that reached the playoffs despite a 3-7 and seven record. The Cowboys rolled in this game at the pit. Big time. Fourth down, they get six. Bruce Layton into the end zone for the score. Been in the end zone a lot this year. Jeremiah Garcia of the Cowboys is number two. Comes up with a rugged run here. Menlo Avenue could not stop the Salinas offense at all. Second touchdown here with Zach McDermott to Josh Oliveria. Salinas side and I will pick up their seventh win of the year. The play that pretty much put it away coming right here, and it's a beauty. And look at the block by number two, Jeremiah Garcia, coming right there. Woo. Springs Bruce Layton, he's gone. He's going 76 for the score. Cowboys, Salinas High win this game. Big time. Salinas rolls in this one. 41 zip, but uh, also at the game, a picture you rarely see. It's me not being able to get a word in as wise as John Devine of the Herald and Aaron Clark. They're still talking about the shoe game last week. This week, though, as far as Salinas fans are concerned, they are happy. They advance 41 to 8 the final. Salinas goes to the Division I semifinal now. Let's go over to Alvarez High. This is also a Division I contest. Alvarez Eagles home against Santa Teresa High. Any team that has Edric Gamble has a good chance to win a game. He is a player. He is the man scrambling and throwing right here. Deep. Looking up with Carlos Mercado. That would lead to a score. It's Gamble with the scramble here. We've seen this guy do this a lot this season. He will not be stopped until he gets to the end zone for the Alvarez touchdown. Then it's a long run. This is Ryan Hocog of the Alvarez Eagles. Real long effort here. This would lead to another score by Alvarez. They dominate tonight. Uh, and they win this game. How about another Edric Gamble touchdown scramble ride here? Alvarez cruises to the victory 35 to nothing. Alvarez will play Hollister next week. Next up, I'm not sure. Put something up and I'll talk about it. Okay, well, we don't have Hollister right now. Well, let's, uh, let's go to the game after that. That's a Division II battle. Santa Cruz, uh, it's, uh, yeah, the uh, Aptos, Aptos High Mariners. Aptos High, probably the best team in Santa Cruz Coast League against Branham of San Jose. Aptos, the team in the blue tops, and these are all Aptos highlights tonight. Mistake here by Branham is open to safety for the Mariners. They have the lead, and they never look back. One of the Mariners' top running backs, Brandon Pierce right there. 35 yards for the score. A bit later, it's going to be Brandon Pierce again. Another Aptos touchdown. This one from just three yards out. Aptos on the roll. Three yards out through here. And Aptos. How about the fumble picked up here? Long touchdown here. The senior safety, Conan Hauser, going 77 for the score. Aptos totally dominates this ball game and they win 50 to 3 and this was a playoff game 50 to 3 the final now let's go check out those christopher cougars in d2 yeah christopher against the wilcox chargers cougars up uh put up a pretty good fight in this one 
right here. Quarterback Matt Adam was connecting with T.J. Rocket for the 65-yard touchdown pass. That put Christopher on the scoreboard. Wilcox High Charge. Chargers had a lot of big plays in this game going on. And they're going to strike for a long kickoff return for a touchdown right here. Wilcox is going to beat the Christopher Cougars tonight. Wilcox rolling 28 to 13. Christopher season comes to an end at Madam. Matt Adam looks did have a great year at quarterback. Sonny Talia right here with the interception that kills a Cougar drive. Okay, let's go to Division Four. Breakers from Pacific Grove coming off a big win in the shoe game over Carmel last week. PG tonight against San Lorenzo Valley. PG's top runner Jason Leach. Big game here. Big game here for Jason Leach. He's the top ground gainer all season for the Breakers. Things all you're going to see here. Breaks loose for 32 here. Then we're going to see a pitch out to Jason Leach. Going in for the touchdown is Leach right here in the. Uh, Pacific Grove is a winner in this one. They really rolled well. They've only lost one game of 10-1. 37-13 the final. Our next stop now at Monta Vista Christian School. Monta Vista Christian, home against the Live Oak Acorns from Morgan Hill. Monta Vista Christian busting into the end zone here. As Deshaun Thompson, or sorry, Deshaun Hopkins, I'm sorry, the top ground gainer, sticks it in for six. Live Oak Acorns. Going to put up a battle, though, and here's their junior quarterback for the touchdown, Acorns. Acorns, the Live Oak Acorns. You can see a lot more of them in this area, not since they switched league. Fourth down play for Monta Vista Christian, and the break's open to John Hopkins. Gone 40 yards in the touchdown. And the Mustangs of Monta Vista Christian are winners, 31-28. The final MVC moves on to the Division IV semifinal. Now back to the game. That we skipped earlier. Hollister, the Hay Baylors in D1. They will play Alvarez next week because tonight they were winners in this contest against Silver Creek. The Raiders from Silver Creek blocked punt touchdown. Great start as the Hay Baylor defense comes up with points right here. Another alert play by the Hay Baylor defense results in six more. That's a backward pass by the Raider quarterback picked up by Brian Noble in for the Hollister touchdown. Baylor's cruising tonight. What a fine play here by the quarterback for the Hollister, R.J. Clark. What a fine play here. It is coming up. After this play, you're going to see what a fine play here by the Hollister. Nope, it's not coming up yet. Sack. What a fine play by the Hollister defense. Now, here's the play. Here's the play I've been talking about all night long. What a play here by the Hollister court. No, nope, this isn't it either. Yes, it is. Is he sacked? No! He's going in for the touchdown. 41 0 the final. The Hay Bears from Hollister move on to Division I semifinals. Tomorrow we've got two local teams with CCS playoff games in Carmel. At, or Carmel plays at 7 o'clock at Pacific Grove High against Tapoon Bay. Monterey High travels all the way to the Sunset District in San Francisco to play St. Ignatius. For news and weather information, please, we encourage you to go to our website, ksbw.com, ksbw.com.